children i know you all must be waiting for the video anxiously as you have already started that science has given birth to three branches that is chemistry physics and biology in this video i am going to talk about matter which is an important topic to be taken up in physical science now let me ask you one thing what are you holding in your hand just now is it a cell phone or a book or might be pen now just tell me one thing that does the object occupy space when you keep it on your study table and you can also see and touch that object and again when you pick it up you can feel the mass isn't it so the term matter can be defined as anything which occupies space has mass and can be perceived by physical senses here physical senses means that you can see touch smell and taste okay now the question arises that how matter looks like and what is the composition of matter means what constitutes matter so matter is constituted or made up of smallest indivisible particles called atoms and these atoms are tiny building blocks or particles originated with the greek philosopher democritus although in reality democritus teacher lucipus was certainly co-founder and was also responsible for the discovery of atom have you ever seen an atom no okay this is how it looks like now you can see in the picture it's looking like a cloud but when it is seen under the electron microscope then we can see the honeycomb like small compartments as you have seen in the beehive i hope it is clear now when one atom combines chemically with another atom of same type it forms a molecule as you can clearly see in the picture that two oxygen atoms are forming an oxygen molecule right same way i am showing you formation of hydrogen molecule too one hydrogen atom is combining with another hydrogen atom to form a hydrogen molecule we can say that bonding has been taken place exactly the same way when you make a friend there is a bonding between you and your friend what you call as friendship right proceeding to different states of matter what are three physical states of matter matter exists in three physical states that is solid liquid and gas difference in state of matter depends upon intermolecular spaces and intermolecular force of attraction right firstly i will explain you what is intermolecular force of attraction the attractive forces held between the molecules of a substance now the substance can be solid liquid or gas 
but in solids the intermolecular force of attraction is strongest that is the molecules are held close to each other so the space is almost negligible and hence they are rigid moving to liquids intermolecular force of attraction is less than solids means the attractive forces between molecules are less so they are loosely arranged and due to this molecules in liquids can move from one position to another within the liquid and you know that is why liquids have property of being able to flow like you can easily pour water from a jug to glass in gases we will see that intermolecular force of attraction is weakest as a result the molecules in gases are far apart and move very quickly in all directions secondly i will explain you what is intermolecular spaces so the empty spaces between the molecules of a state of matter is known as intermolecular spaces let us see the spaces or gap between solid liquid and gas that's amazing in solids intermolecular space is practically absent and in liquid intermolecular spaces are more than solids at last in gases intermolecular space is largest so the molecules and gases are completely free to move around anywhere children i hope it is clear let's discuss the properties of solids solids like stone a wooden block have definite shape and volume they have a texture means either they are hard or smooth in touch they have many free surfaces but yes they are incompressible means if you compress a block of wood what will you see will it change its shape no not at all because molecules are tightly packed which makes it rigid we love to have cold drinks in summer especially mango squash is it it so moving to properties of liquids first they does not have definite shape so taking the shape of container in which they are poured they have tendency to flow and this property is known as fluidity they can be compressed to a small extent and they have only one free surface at the top now i will tell you about the properties of third state of matter that is gases they are highly compressible they have no definite shape or volume they have no free surfaces but they have maximum fluidity or capacity to flow therefore both liquids and gases can flow easily and hence are called fluids now the most important point that i'm going to take is cause of change of state of water i mean to say that water which you drink is in liquid state right and when you keep it in refrigerator it freezes and solidifies so the ice cube 
you can easily hold in your hand now when you boil the water that changes into gaseous state or steam so in change of state temperature and pressure plays equal role now after studying a lot about matter i have a question for you start thinking now come on yes is there a matter come on come on i'm waiting for the answer yes air is matter because it occupies space and has mass too now you can see various objects in which air can be inflated like on your birthday you decorate with balloons right then your car driver get the tires of your car inflated at the petrol pump and air is also inflated in hot air balloons or weather observation balloons which is used for recreational purpose and above all kids pool that you are going to enjoy in summers but not outside in your home now children besides solid liquid and gas there is fourth and fifth state of matter too which you will study later in detail but before i end the explanation i want to give you a brief introduction about fourth state of matter and that is plasma we have not heard much about it but it is the most common prevalent state of matter in the universe what you see during day and night and that is sun and stars it is also used in television neon signs and fluorescent lights okay now you all have learned more about matter thank you children i really appreciate that you took the time and listened to my presentation sincerely i'm sure you are all are going to benefit from the videos if you listen to them on regular basis please value the importance of time else time will not value you stay home stay safe and stay blessed